Rhode Island's new governor is calling on lawmakers to raise the minimum wage again. The hourly minimum wage was raised by $1 less than three months ago. And as Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance tells us, some agree with the governor's plan while others don't. She joins us with the details, new at 6 tonight. Mike and Shannon, $10.10 and 10 cents is the goal. It's the minimum wage mark the governor has been rallying for for more than a year now. In a crowded labor union conference room, Governor Gina Raimondo calls on lawmakers to raise the minimum wage. Nobody who works full time should have to live in poverty. The governor has vowed to increase the hourly minimum wage by about a dollar to $10.10, .10, .10, a vow she made early last year with a goal to accomplish by 2016. Just two months ago, the minimum wage was already raised to $9 an hour, bringing the Ocean State up to par with neighboring Massachusetts. Raising the minimum wage is going to boost our economy by putting more money in the pockets of families who are then going to spend that money in the economy. A business owner with many employees agrees. Higher wages make for a better workforce. A better workforce increases productivity. Increased productivity makes for more efficient and better run businesses and puts money back into our economy. But the CEO of the public policy think tank Rhode Island Center for Freedom and Prosperity says raising minimum wage is not the answer. The idea that minimum wage is going to dramatically help low income uh, bread family breadwinners is just not true. His solution to boost the economy. We need to reduce the burdens on businesses and reduce taxes on everybody. And the governor later explained that raising the minimum wage is part of her overall budget plan, which has a heavy focus on jobs. Now she plans to share the details with lawmakers at the State House on Thursday. In studio, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News. You can see Governor Raimondo's first budget address to the General Assembly live on Eyewitness News Thursday at 7 p.m. and streaming live on WPRI.com.